But before we start, how many of you have watched any online video on, in your computer, iPad, or iPhone during the last 30 days? That's a very important question. I want to see hands up if you have it. Watched any type of online video? I want you guys to look around the room. Look around, look around the room, please. I have 100% of you, right? 100. How many of you during the last 30 days have recorded a video to market to consumers, realtors, or referral partners during the last 30 days by show of hands? One, two, three people. Think about that. How long has video marketing been around? How long? What, how long do you think? Yeah, thank you guys, it's been seven, eight years. That's, thank you. I used to, I used to think that way because YouTube has been around for seven, eight years. Great thought process. The fact is this, video marketing has been around since 1941. That is, I want you guys to connect the dots here. That was the first time, first time, a paid commercial aired in America. It was this one, it was a watch commercial, America runs on below time. Video, understand guys, video marketing. Marketing through video, TV. So since then you have IBM, Pepsi Cola, Coke, Apple, promoting using video marketing or marketing to television through video to us. Now question for you, why big companies use TV to market their products and services, why? Couple answers, why? Reach other people, leverage, what else? All right. Sell more. There's three principles. Number one, exposure. If you can have your message, for example, in front of 20 realtors a month, and now you can have your message in front of 200 realtors a month, and it's a good message, most likely you're going to make more money if you're exposed to 200 people. Is that correct, guys? Yes? Most likely. So video marketing, number one, is get your message and reach other people, consumers, that you currently are not reaching. I want you guys to picture this in a moment. Imagine every single time a company wants to record a commercial, they go to the TV station and say, okay, let's do what time? Today, 10 o'clock. They do the commercial live, right? And then tomorrow goes, the commercial gonna air tomorrow again. Yes, what time? 3 a.m. So everybody comes back at 3 a.m. Let's do it again, the same thing, 3 a.m. What time the commercial gonna air again? Oh, tomorrow, 11 p.m. They come back, do it again. They will not do that, right? Because that's not smart. What they do? They record one time, really good, and then how many times they play the commercial, the message? How many times? A lot. What most of the salespeople do? They say the same thing, to you, to you, to you, to you, to you, to you, over and over and over and over. Video marketing is not about video magic. It's about video marketing. It's about like understanding marketing. So, Roberto, what does that mean? Right? You're calling your prospective clients, Voicemail, 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 voicemail. What do you think they're doing during work hours? What do you think? <laughs> Apparently they're watching videos. <laughs> Here we go. I want to give you, by the way, video marketing is not YouTube marketing. You guys understand, right? YouTube is just a huge pie of video marketing, but video marketing is bigger than YouTube. You guys follow me? So YouTube is here. Video marketing is here. Video, video marketing is everything. Roberto, why are you talking about YouTube? Because YouTube, who owns YouTube, guys? Google. Google, right? And if you're not on YouTube, then it's cost you money. There's no other way to put it. Or impact, or mission, or passion. Just, there's no other way to say. Roberto, how do you say that? Well, number one, last month they celebrated a new benchmark. They had a billion unique visitors. A billion worldwide, right? So that means like one out of seven people on Earth watching go to YouTube every month. Think about that. Number two, every every minute. By the way, usually a Hollywood movie is around what two hours? It's fair to say. So imagine this, just to see the size of the size of the market right now. Every minute, 36 Hollywood movies are uploaded on YouTube. Every minute. Every minute, 72 hours of content. 
Think about that. It's crazy. So many people that say, Roberto, you know, I don't like to be in front of a camera. I don't like, I don't feel confident, I'm not a good speaker. I'm great at one-on-one. Has anybody heard that before? Dude, Roberto, one-on-one, I'm great. Here's the good news. If you're great at one-on-one, you're going to be awesome with video. Because that's it. The one-on-one is like, I feel like the person's talking to me through video. It's not to be outrageous loud. It's not at all. If you're great one-on-one, -on -one, you're going to be awesome video. Because what? It's to have a conversation. Hey, how's it going? Roberto here. XYZ Mortgage Company. Today we're talking about X. Realtor, Keller Williams, talk about X. Boom. Amazing. All right? Number one. Number two. Repetition creates confidence. I record hundreds and hundreds of videos. You don't want to see my first videos. Now, one of my first videos of recording, when I didn't know what I was doing, I got my camera. And then I was like, at the time, I didn't have remote control. And I didn't know how to edit my videos. So I was like, at one, just, I had just one shot. So if I mess up, I got to do everything again. I didn't know how to edit a video. So my here, first try, second try, 10 times I was messing up. Then all of a sudden, I record my video, go, ah, I use the F word really out loud. <laughs> like, ah, why? I'm not going repeat it. So I used that. And I'm like, damn, I'm tired of doing this thing. Went back, record one time. Boom, boom, perfect, like, yes, a nail. I'm late, got my video, boom, my computer, boom, YouTube, upload, share, do my thing. You know what happened, right? Couple months later, I'm watching my videos, I upload the wrong one. <laughs> so here I am on the internet saying the F words, and I'm like walking towards the camera, like, right? <laughs> all right, so, don't. How many hits? <laughs> I had uh, several hits on it, all right? Several hits on it. So the, here's the lesson. Didn't die, right? Some people may, maybe didn't like it, but it was an accident. So here's the idea. It's OK, you're going to screw up. And check your videos before you upload, too. Right? Here you go. The third thing is that you don't have to be good looking, right? You really don't like to have to be good looking to be successful, right? Because people say, Roberto, I'm recording my video. I don't like my nose. Well, guess what? When you go to the 7-Eleven, when you go to P.F. Chang's, when you go to the mall, that's how your nose look like. Get over, right? Oh, Roberto, I don't like my hair. Well, that's how your hair looks like in real life. <laughs> Roberto, the video adds 10 more pounds in camera. That's right, right? So that's the idea. So get over. Get over. Just get over. Look. You got to make your message more important than your own fears. Because if not, your own fears, uncertainty, nervousness, down anxiety, all that <laughs> is bigger than your message. That's, that's controlling you. So at one point decide what's really important. If I, if I have a mission, if I have a purpose, I want to I I help 500 families a year in real estate, I want to help 200 VA families, 1,000. Uh, so you have a big purpose, you don't care about this stuff. You really don't care. Obviously, we all want to look good. We all want the best we can. But ultimately, look, it's not about how good it looks. It's about how if your message can help people. That's the idea.